Well, welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to have a look at uh, SFCTA Highway Sign uh, number 4902, Remote Access Interface. Now let's have a read the problem. Uh, write Ember 2's message uh, from file 300 to the highway sign. The file contains one character value for each position on the sign from left to right, top to bottom. Uh, for more information, view blah blah blah. Yep. So these are the uh, ASCII codes or the um, yeah, ASCII values to write to the screen. Uh, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 by 3. We basically just need to populate this screen with those values here. Um, there might be a bit of code for this one, but let's give it a crack. Uh, grab 300. So we're going to grab the file. And we're going to jump into where we need to be. And what we're going to do is we need to reset the screen to start with. So we can reset the screen by passing anything into the uh, clear function, uh, the clear processor for the sign. Um, and although x is empty, I'm just going to copy 0 in just for now because I know it. Hmm, actually, it's probably not worthwhile. That's fine. OK, cool. So let's go ahead and we need to split this up into probably three uh, different functions. So we'll have a uh, function for each line. And we need to use a variable for x to basically count which column and row we're up to. Uh, so we'll go ahead and um, for line 1, let's copy in. Uh, so, how does this work? I think it's column 0? Yeah. Wait. Is it? Yeah, that's right, yeah, cool. Uh, into data, so it's uh, column, row, and then the value you want to pass in. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so in our case, because we're handling all three... Sorry, that's 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 row, column. <laughs> yep. So basically we're going to need this in all three, probably. Um, this is basically just setting the uh, yeah the row that we're on. So this is going to be like uh, 0, 1, 2 uh, as the first value. So next we need to set uh, the column. So now the other row we need to set the column. And to handle the columns we're going to use uh, uh, probably the X register to track where in the line we're up to. So we're going to copy X into data basically. So X is already at 0, uh, so that's where we, right where we want to be. Um, I'm pretty sure we can do the same thing for here, here as well. Yep, copy X into data. Copy X into data. Cool. So basically we're just going to take the X value and increment from 0 to 9 and that will, uh, and then reset it back to 0 of each line. And that will handle sort of the positioning of where we are on the uh, screen. So now we just need to handle retrieving the values from the file and then printing them to the screen. Okay, so let's... I mean, the first line's easy because we can copy directly uh, from the file. So we can go copy, uh, file, data, uh, and then we just need to increment uh, the x value. So we can go and change register x by 1, by adding. And test to see that x equals... 9, yep. Um, and then we're just going to jump, if it's true, to line 2. Yes, that should work. Um, else, we're just going to jump back to line 1. Okay. So now I see the problem where we have x is no longer equal to 0, so we need to reset 0 somehow. So gonna have to break this up a little bit. We're gonna have to make a sub uh, a sub branch in here. We're gonna call it line to <coughs> execute, and we're gonna reset the value of x at the start of this. Yeah, I think we're gonna we'll have to do the same for line three as well. Um, so we'll copy zero into x, and then we'll mark line three uh, execute. Uh, yeah, actually I think that's 
good. So now we are free to copy that data. So copy F data. Uh, and then we just need to do this add again. It's a bit repetitive, probably could clean this up a little bit. Uh, but for now we're just trying to complete the challenge. Uh, and then we're going to test. And if that's true, then we're going to jump to line 3, similar to how we did line 1. Um, else, uh, this is where this comes into play. So else, we want to jump back to line 2, but we don't want to be resetting it back to 0 again. So, uh, yeah. I guess I could have changed the logic a little bit here. But, no, this works fine. Um, so, yeah, we want to jump to... Uh, uh, line to execute in our case here. And we're pretty much doing the same thing for line 3. Uh, we're going to copy the file data. Then we're going to add to x again. We're going to test to see if x is equal to 9. And if it's true, we're going to jump to Yeah. Ah, oh, no, actually, we need to do a false here, don't we? We're going to do a false jump. Because this is the end of our program. So, if it's not equal to 9, then we're going to jump back up to our uh, line 3, execute, and continue our looping. And then the alternative, so basically when we're finally finished, we're going to... What does it say we have to do? Leave no trace. Leave no trace. We just halt, I guess. Yeah, let's try that. I don't think we need to destroy anything. Leave no trace. Ah, right. Yeah, so I gotta move the file back to the. Uh... Actually, that makes a lot more sense now. So, yeah, I need to link backwards so that we leave the file where we found it. Um, so, I think that will work. Think about it. Awesome fight the power. Words to live by. Wake up, sheeple. Awesome. That seems to have worked perfectly. Uh, so I'll see you in the next one.